In this tutorial, we are going to make our first script in AutoIt. We will be building a small script that displays a message box that says Hello World. To start, let's make a script file called Hello World. To do that, we start by right clicking in a folder or on our desktop where we want to create the script file. From the menu, select New and then AutoIt v3 script. Then rename the file hello world. If your computer is set to show file extensions like mine, make sure you leave the .au3 at the end of the file name so it can be recognized by your computer as an AutoIt script file. Once you have renamed the script file, click somewhere other than on the script file or press enter so the new name gets saved. Now you can right click on the new script you just made and select edit script. This will open your script file in the site editor. When your script file opens you will see something very similar to this you will see that the editor made a script file template automatically for you. This template includes the AutoIt version used, plus an area for you to put your name, and a description of what the script does. For now, we will leave this information alone. Let's start by adding an extra line to the script by clicking on the line 12 and pressing enter. As you can see, this automatically creates a new line, line 13. Line 13 is where we are going to start our script. In this script, we want to display a message box that says hello world. To do that, we need to use something called a function. As the name suggests, a function is a piece of code that performs some kind of function. AutoIt literally has thousands of functions that can perform all kinds of tasks. For this script though, we just need a function that will display a message box. The function that we need to use to do this is called msgbox. Let's go ahead and start building our message box and at the same time learn about a very useful feature in Site Editor. On line 13, start by typing ms. As you can see, the editor starts auto-suggesting AutoIt functions it thinks we might be trying to use. It has highlighted a function called msg box because this is the function we want to use all we have to do is press the enter key and it will automatically type the rest of the function name for us. This is an extremely useful feature of the editor and is something you will use a lot when you are writing scripts. Not only will it save you time because you have to type less but it will also reduce typo errors and help you to remember a function's name if you don't necessarily remember exactly how it is spelled. Now that we have a message box function, we need to tell the function what we want it to do. To do that, we need to fill in its parameters. Parameters are simply instructions for a function. Almost all functions have parameters, and these parameters are separated by commas, and finally, parameters are enclosed within parentheses. This might seem a bit confusing at first, but you will soon see it's not that bad. Plus, the site editor has another very useful feature to help us with our function's parameters. Let's add our parameters now and see our next features in action. Start by typing an opening parentheses as you can see, 
the editor automatically displays some information about the function's parameters in a tooltip. For now, we are only going to use the first three parameters. The flag parameter, the title parameter, and the text parameter. We will start by setting the flag parameter to zero, which tells the function we want to make a simple OK message box. We will get into how I know that in the next tutorial. Next, we want to move on to the title parameter. To do that, we add a comma, and then add the text or string we want to display in the title between two double quotation marks. Let's go ahead and leave the title blank by adding two double quotation marks and move on to the next parameter. As I'm sure you remember, we move on to the next parameter by adding a comma. Lastly, we want to add the text parameter by typing a double quotation mark, hello world, add another double quotation mark, and finish the function by adding an ending parentheses. If we did everything right, the script should display a message box that says hello world when we run it. It is very important to note though that if your script is not exactly the same as mine, you may get some errors when you try to run your script. So make sure that all commas, parentheses, quotation marks, text, and spacing are exactly the same as they are in my example. Now, let's run our new script and see if it works. To do that, go to Tools and select Go. As you can see, our code has ran and displayed a message box. If this is your first experience with programming, it might seem like a lot to take in. If you are still confused, go back and watch this video several times until you feel you have a firm understanding on what is going on. Also, make sure you are not just watching the video. Pause it as often as you need and actually write the code on your own computer to make sure you understand what is going on. Lastly, Make sure you take advantage of the free resources available to you on MrAutoIt.com. They really are there to help you learn. In the next lesson, we will cover more ways we can customize the code we just wrote.